Hi guys, it's Roger here, FundersKingdom.com. I've just got a very, very quick um, update for you. This, this came through last night from um, a number of different um, sources, including Go Nintendo and Kodoku. Um, so basically, um, we already knew it, but there was that Disney Infinity. I have got rid of the blind bags for Disney Infinity 3.0. Fantastic news. Um, we've now got um, sort of information from those websites now saying that they're going to be priced at $9.99 for a pack of four. So you'll find the image here. Um, included in this initial pack that we know about is the Tomorrowland theme one. This is how they're going to be doing it in the future. Nice streamline with the four thick, um, power discs in it. No more blind bags means you can buy exactly what you want. So this set um, is going to be priced at $9.99. Included in the set, you have the Tomorrowland uh, Power Disc Pack, which comes with the, the uh, Retro Ray Gun, which will give players a blast from the past, feeling of crimson and gold uh, retro futuristic weapon. So that there is a pack that you can pop down. You also get the Time Bomb, which is a powerful shockwave that will temporarily freeze your uh, opposition time. I'm thinking that is the the round the, the round disc. And then there is going to be the Stratosphere and the Future Scape. Um, which are the uh, Sky Dome and the Terrain. Again, fantastic news from that point of view. We've got that information come through. So it's going to have that pack of Tomorrowland. I think it's a fantastic idea for Disney Infinity going forward. A lot of people weren't happy with the blind bag element of getting duplicates. This is going to remove all of that. So if you want the Tomorrowland ones, you can just buy them. Now at the minute, these are the only power discs that have been announced. I love it. I love the packaging. You've kind of got that the, the black and the purple look for Disney Infinity 3.0. Um, I think in general, it just it, I like the way they've done it down, so it doesn't take up too much space. And I think that's going to be a big key thing, is obviously space for storage in stores. If they do them nice and tight in long lines, so you're going to be able to get them on there a bit. Of, look kind of pretty similar to, to how we saw those Toy Box game discs that were released in um, 2.0. So I love this idea. I'd love to know what you guys think as well. Remember, you can comment below. Remember to check out our um, This Kingdom um, Disney Infinity and Beyond webcast. You'll find that on this YouTube channel. You'll also find um, small chunks of it. I'm trying as a little bit of an experiment this week. But yeah, again, the, these Tomorrowland discs, these are the first sort of power discs we've seen for 3.0. We don't know how many we're going to get. You know, if we go on previous um, years where we've had 60 to 80, 90 power discs, there aren't but the impacts of four. We could easily see, you know, 10, 20 different packs, all different themes. I'm sure we're going to see Marvel themes, um, Star Wars theme. But it should be a little bit more interesting the way they're theming these packs. Will it mean we might have a random pack with some random ones in there? Maybe. But it's going to reduce that risk for duplicates. Anyway, guys, remember you can um, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And remember to check us out at thiskingdom.com. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Laters.